welcome back dear friends into the another lecture of the mathematics third for the third semester uh, especially for the ec branch we are discussing the model question papers right so today i am with another question uh, question number one see i have uh, already uploaded uh, two questions on this particular four year series model one i have provided the link in the description box you can avail those videos so let's start uh, this video with the uh, very first uh, question that is c part obtain the constant term and the coefficients of the first cosine and sine terms in the Fourier expansion of y from the table it is also called as harmonic analysis okay harmonic Fourier series where we are supposed to calculate the first cosine and sine terms okay let me discuss it uh, so the given data is x and y are given 0 1 2 3 4 5 and y is given 9 18 24 28 26 20 okay so you have to remember this uh, Fourier series expansion okay uh, f of x is equal to a naught upon 2 plus summation of n running from 1 to infinity a n cos of n pi x by l plus summation of n running from 1 to infinity b n sine of n pi x by l so it is the general formula for the Fourier series for the cosine and sine terms okay so in this question 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 terms are there i can write n is equal to 6 okay and also uh how can i calculate this l i need this l also so uh, i can compare the equation 2 l is equal to this 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 is the interval okay length interval it is actually uh, 0 is less or equal to sorry 0 is less or equal to x less than 6 see here x is greater or equal to 0 means uh, equal to 0 and greater than and less than 6 means up to 5 it is the length interval okay so i can uh, compare the equation 2l is equal to 6 it is actually uh, uh, the 2 pi if the, if in some questions uh, there is a mentioning of the period period is given uh, 2 pi over there or pi it is like that okay if it is not mentioned uh, in the question that the period is 2 pi so you can directly take 2l is equal to this uh, length interval is 6 over there okay so l is equal to 6 upon 2 is 3 so i am getting l is equal to 3 so i can write here since l is equal to 3 the series containing the series containing you have to write this uh, in the examination like like same okay containing the first harmonics first harmonics okay so i can write this uh, the series containing the first harmonic harmonics is y is equal to f of x which is equal to a naught upon 2 plus a1 instead of n i am writing a1 just because i have to calculate only uh, a1 and b1 in the uh, harmonic fourier analysis you should remember here in the uh, harmonic fourier series i have to calculate a naught value fourier coefficients a1 and b1 okay if it is a second harmonic so a2 and b2 i have to calculate but in this question we have to calculate only a1 and b1 okay i can write a1 cos of <coughs> pi x by 3 instead of n i am writing 1 okay this will be cos of 1 pi x by uh, 3 over here okay then plus b sorry b1 okay instead of n i have uh, to put 1 over here so b1 sine of pi x by 3 okay l value is 3 so i am writing this equation now put this pi x by 3 pi x by 3 is equal to theta okay so what will be the equation let us see so the equation will be y is equal to a naught upon 2 y is equal to a naught upon 2 plus a1 instead of cos of pi x sorry pi x by 3 i am writing theta so cos of theta it will be plus b1 sine of pi x by 3 means pi x by 3 you have to put theta so sine theta b1 sine of theta okay so this will be your equation and you have to now make a, a box over here or table you can see where you can write x and the theta is equal to pi x by 3 simply theta i will write here which i have to calculate okay and uh, we have to calculate this a naught a1 and b1 value so for that there are formulas like uh, a naught is equal to so a naught is equal to a naught is equal to 2 by n summation of y a n is equal to 2 by n summation of y cos of theta and sorry b n b n is equal to 2 by n summation of y sine of theta this is your formulas for a naught sorry in this case we have to calculate a1 b1 so it will be your a1 this will be your b1 right so these are the formulas now what we have to calculate one is theta is here okay also x is uh, given in the table and we have to calculate uh, this uh, cos of theta y cos of theta summation right 
so y sin of theta i will make accordingly the table here so x theta y and cos theta we have also to calculate and y cos of theta see here y cos of theta we have to calculate okay and also sin theta and y sin theta so sin theta and y sin of theta right so what are the x values it is given in the question 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay what is the theta value it is actually the uh, it is actually pi x by 3 theta okay if i put values here see first i have to put zero value instead of x so pi into zero is uh, zero divided by three that is zero by three is zero so theta will be zero degree in this case right then if i have to put x value as one i hope you are getting so pi into one is pi pi divided by three is 60 degree okay pi value is 180 180 upon three is 60 then accordingly when you put two value that is 2 pi upon 3 that will be your 120 degree same like when you put three value here 3 3 will cancel uh, the remaining will be pi means 180 180 degree then if you put 4 you will get 240 degree if you put uh, 5 value you will get 300 degree right so these are the x values i am putting in this particular equation you are getting theta i hope this is clear then y is given in the question 9 18 24 like that 9 18 24 28 26 and 20 now i have to calculate cos of theta cos of 0 is 1 okay when you just put these values in the kelsey so let me show you so see here this is your cos of 1 which is equal sorry cos of 0 i have to put right cos of 0 is equal to 1 okay then accordingly you just put the values then cos of uh, 60 degrees is the angle so i can write cos of 60 degree is equal to 1 upon 2 that is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 i can write here then cos of 120 degree 120 degree will be minus 1 by 2 means 0 minus 0 0.5 so i hope this uh, calculation is the easier part you will calculate it now i will directly put the values so that the video will not get too long minus 1 value will be here and here will be minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 this is your cos theta then y cos of theta means uh, this into this you have to multiply 9 into 1 is 9 and 18 into 0 0.5 is 9 and 24 into minus 0 0.5 will be minus 12 and 28 minus 1 means minus 28 right so this is your 26 into 0 0.5 this will be minus 13 0 0.5 into 20 will be 10 value okay now i have to calculate sine theta so sine of 0 degree you have to take 0 sine of 60 will be your 0 0.866 okay sine of 120 degree will be your 0 0.866 then sine of 180 degree will be your 0 i am taking directly now values you will calculate it i believe that uh, you are just following the steps and you will calculate it minus 0 0.866 and this is your minus 0 0.886 okay this is the sine theta table now why sine of theta uh, this is your uh, sin theta and uh, y is here Na 9 into 0 is 0 18 into 0 0.86 you will get 15.58 right so same like this uh, this is your sin theta 0 0.866 into 24 you will get somewhere 20.78 okay and next is your 28 into 0 that is 0 26 into minus this you will get minus 22.51 and 20 into minus 0 0.866 you will get minus 17.32 this is all about the table okay so x theta and y cos of theta right this is your y cos of theta this is your sine of theta this is your table so it is not in the proper manner here in the examination you should uh, draw the neat table for this particular harmonic Fourier series so now what we have to calculate this a naught value so a naught is equal to 2 by n summation of y so summation of y you can calculate from here 9 plus 18 plus 24 28 26 plus 20 you will get 125 summation of y value okay so a naught is equal to a naught is equal to 2 upon what is the n value 6 it is already in the beginning of the question n is equal to 6 so 2 upon 6 into summation of y is 125 so you will get a naught is equal to 41 0.67 approximately okay so if i just write the term a naught by 2 this term so simply i can write a naught by 2 just because in the fourier series i required a naught by 2 value okay so this is your fourier series expansion a naught by 2 value i have to uh, 
uh, what we call find out a naught by 2 will be equal to 41.67 divided by 2 that will be equal to 20.835 this is your a naught by 2 value now i have to calculate this a1 value okay a1 is equal to 2 upon n summation of y cos of theta so 2 upon n is 6 now you have to calculate y cos of theta summation y cos of theta is here you have to sum these terms that is 9 plus 9 18 when you just sum it you will get minus 25 value okay so put it in this particular equation so 2 by 6 into minus 25 so you will get a1 is equal to minus times 8.333 okay a1 is the value for this now i have to calculate b1 value so b1 is equal to 2 upon n value is 6 into summation of y sine of theta summation of y sine of theta so you have to sum this y sine theta is here when you just sum up this term you will get minus 3.46 value so just put it in this equation that is minus 4.64 so b1 is equal to you are getting approximately minus 1.155 so this is your b1 value now you have to put this in uh, for uh, Fourier series expansion or this in this equation you can put down the values so that you will get answer so y is equal to a naught upon 2 what is the a naught upon 2 value 20 20.835 plus what is the a1 value a1 value is uh, here minus 8 point point minus 8.33 okay then cos of theta is as it is plus b1 value is minus 1.5155 okay then sine of theta so this is your required harmonic Fourier analysis or the first two terms of the cosine and sine terms in this particular question. Okay, I hope this is clear to you people.